And now, your precision forecast with Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein. Great story, Penn. We're going to continue to talk about this because while the tornadoes that afternoon were historic, there was also something historic that morning. The National Weather Service put our area under a high risk of severe weather, something that hadn't happened in more than 20 years. This afternoon, I went looking for some historical context via Skype. I spoke with Reed Timmer, extreme tornado chaser from the Discovery Channel show Storm Chasers. I asked him about the rarity of a high risk both here and in Tornado Alley. But a high risk, even here in Tornado Alley, is, 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 is pretty rare. You only get a few of them a year. Uh, last year, there was one on April 14th, I believe, and that was the only high risk of the season uh, from a call. So they're rare any given year, and out there in the north of Piedmont, it's even more of an anomaly. Yeah, that high risk for us was the first we had in 25 years. Most times, we're just under a slight risk. Uh, since 2011, which was a very busy year, I'm sure it was a good year for you to chase tornadoes, but oh. it seems like there hasn't been as many tornadoes in the last two years. Is that what you would agree with? What do you think? Yeah, I would agree. And last year, uh, 2012 reminded me a lot of 2006. And thankfully, in May, it was the, the first time in, in several years that there were no fatalities during the month of May, which is normally the most active month for tornadoes tornadoes and hopefully that happens again this year but uh, the climate system in the Pacific Ocean is much different than it was last year. Now we're getting more of these strong high amplitude storm systems. Uh, we have a massive trough that's uh, progressing across the southern Rockies that'll give us a start tomorrow and that'll continue across Dixie Alley and, and toward North Carolina Piedmont by the end of uh, uh, by the end of this week and there is a, a, a severe weather potential with this system in the Piedmont. Uh, I just hope that it's more progressive and moves offshore before that inability builds. Yeah, so Reed saying some storms headed our way, and that's what we've been talking about. He's seen in person nearly 400 tornadoes. Uh, extreme, yes, but uh, he definitely knows what he's talking about after been through all those. Now, we've got nothing to really worry about right now. Those storms later this week would be Friday afternoon. And look at our temperature, still close to 70 degrees in Rocky Mountain. And just a few weeks ago, uh, we were complaining about how cold it is. Now, one note about tomorrow, we have that small chance of afternoon showers, but some of this leftover rain up here in West Virginia could sneak into northern portions of our viewing area, just as a little bit of leftover light rain for tomorrow morning's commute. Otherwise, we'll also have some fog and probably some humidity to deal with. Today, our dew point temperature topped out around 58. And remember, in the summertime, this number is up here around 70. That's when we really complain about humidity. But in the next 48 hours, I think it's going to climb into the 60s, making things a little muggy and putting some moisture in the atmosphere that will eventually squeeze out in the form of showers and storms on Friday. But tomorrow, no threat of severe weather, but maybe some rain to the north along with some fog as you head out the door on Wednesday morning and still very mild with temperatures close to 60. It'll be another mostly cloudy day and a day where we climb into the low 80s, just a spotty shower possible as we head into the late afternoon and early evening. So here's the setup, a warm southerly flow, again, humidity temperatures in the low 80s, and then this little frontal boundary slowly creeping to the south, giving us those small rain chances tomorrow and Thursday, but it's the bigger rain chance on Friday that we're a little concerned about. So the weather map tomorrow again, that cold front slows down, turns stationary, but does get a little closer to us, giving us that small chance of rain. And we'll do that again on Thursday. So Wednesday and Thursday, very similar days. The cold side of the front will stay to our north, so our temperatures are not going to cool and the front itself will stay to the north. But attached to the end of this is an area of low pressure, which is attached to a cold front, and that's what will head our way as we head into Friday. The morning time looks to be dry. The cold front doesn't move through into the early morning hours of Saturday, but it's ahead of this front that we will see some storms after 2 o'clock on Friday, lasting through the afternoon and evening, and even into the early morning hours of Saturday before we dry out and cool off significantly for the upcoming weekend. We are not cool tomorrow, though, as we look uh, down in Fayetteville at Hay Street. We have 84 degrees for your high. Wouldn't be surprised if someone out there has a heat index that maybe be like 86 or 87, but it's getting to that time of year already. So we'll kind of lock it into temperatures around 80 the next three days with those small chances of rain in the afternoon, Wednesday and Thursday. But it is more than a small chance of rain headed our way Friday afternoon and evening and into the early morning hours of Saturday. So right now we'll stick with an 80% chance as the cold front comes through. But most of the weekend guys will be dry and cooler with highs of only 68 and 65. Saturday and Sunday before we bump back up to about 70 by the middle 
I, of next week. I swear, just hearing you talk about those temperatures got me hot. And, and, and Where's your fan? You haven't well, used a fan it, um, you use a paper. It made me feel warm. Thank goodness for air conditioning. Yeah, well, it's not helping. I, I think just the thought of what's to come is doing a number yeah. on me. You'll like this weekend, though, Mike. Okay, woohoo! You won't like, we're going to show a bunch of people running around sweaty at this point because it's a 